A diligent search and uh, uh, interviewing uh, defensive coordinators that you know basically uh, you know that have been there, experienced big games, and experienced uh, you know different systems uh, as far as defense is concerned, and well-rounded in all areas as far as football, recruiting, compliance, and everything else. I I, I did have a, a chance to choose a. Uh, defense coordinator that I worked with prior at Georgia Tech, uh, Ted Roof, who I'm very, very ecstatic about him coming here and, and heading up the defense. And, you know, uh, I do have him here right now. He just flew in, so I'll, I'll give you an opportunity for him to visit with right now. Are there any questions? The fact that you have a history with Coach, you know what he's all about. Um, you know, what, what sold you the most? Well, one, I, I think Ted was a very demanding coach, but I think he really coached with tough love. The players always loved playing for him, and I think he got the most out of the talent base that we had to work with, which is a sign of a good football coach. And you know, and I've always, you know, a good family guy, good character, and 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 he's a team guy. He's not just about defense. He understands that special teams and offense. It's a, all three have to do well to win football games, and 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 that's why I, I've always had a great respect for Ted and followed his progress since I left Georgia Tech and uh, he's done very well and I think he's just you know been what I thought he would be uh, an outstanding football coach and very well respected uh, in the coaching circle so I'm very happy and elated to have him here join us. What does it say to be able to get a guy with SEC pedigree who's been a head coach to what does it say about the program? Well it says that you know we just took our the Big East say we had a press conference so uh, we're on the same page with everybody else now and I think uh, Obviously, when uh, I think the big thing about UCF is that you can see the the future here as far as what's going to take place. It's uh, facility-wise, you know, we're, obviously we've improved each year. We're going to continue to improve the facilities, and I think coaches that have been around and have seen what's going on in the country, you know, have some foresight. I think Ted does as far as you can see where this place is going to go. Now that you're in a, a BCS conference, I think it. It makes the job a little bit easier as far as not defending the negative, not, not being a, a BCS conference. But again, I, I've hired Ted because of his experience, his coaching ability, and his ability to get the most out of the players. You talked about the need to more sacks, more forced fumbles. I mean, he, he'll play that kind of attacking style, right? Uh, well, you, you can talk to him about that mm -hmm. and stuff. I, I've always liked to be an aggressive defense. and. Uh, you know, and, and Ted, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have brought him in here unless I thought he was the guy that was going to get back or get where we need to get. We, we ended this year uh, number one in five categories in Conference USA defensively, but I mean the key is you got to stop people when you need to stop them. We lost games this year on the last stop, not making them, a last possession, not putting the ball in the end zone. So I think the key is that uh, I found, I, he was my target right from the get-go. I did interview other people and sat down with them. Uh, and now my goal is to uh, get the best secondary coach and linebacker coach I can get in here to join them. Thank you, Coach. Hey, Coach. Hey, how you doing? You're talking about this, this opportunity I may come to a program well, that just joined the Big East? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity uh, to come to a great place, but uh, just as importantly to, to come work uh, with a guy that I have tremendous amount of respect for. Uh, and gave me my first break as a coordinator in 1A football. And uh, I think it says a lot about, you know, about how, how I feel about coach and to leave a program that won mm -hmm. the national championship last year and we we're getting ready to play for our 30th win mm -hmm. in three years in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. So I think that it's, it, it, it speaks volumes about how much I res have respect for, uh, for Coach O'Leary and, and what he's about and uh, the, the, way he, the way he goes about things. And uh, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, to be down here and uh, just to see the where this place can go and under coach's direction and leadership and uh, feel very privileged and very honored to be here and uh, ready to get started. What is your defensive philosophy? Are there some trademarks of defense that you've been known for? Well, the years? over the course of the years, I think there's some things you've got to do to, to win football games. Uh, you got to have, have the ability to stop the run. If you don't do that, uh, you're going to have a long day at the office because that's a headache that won't go away. Uh, you've got to be able to affect the quarterback on third down because nowadays quarterbacks and systems are so are so good that if you if you 
if he has time and can sit back there and go through his progressions, uh, it's hard to it's hard to stop people. And uh, so to be aggressive, get after it, you know, make them predictable by being able to stop the run and then, then going after the quarterback and uh, taking the ball away because no matter what your style of offense or defense is, uh, it still comes back to the game of field position and takeaways are still uh, one of the most critical factors in, in regards to winning and losing. People at your other stops have said that you know, you're a good recruiter. Do, do you like recruiting and what's kind of your recruiting philosophy? Yeah, I do like recruiting. Uh, I like getting to know kids. Uh, I like getting to know families. And uh, I think that's, that's critical because if you don't recruit, you're not going to be in coaching very long. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> that's the way that, that goes. But uh, yeah, I, I like it and, uh, b because I, I know it's critical you know, the, the type of a young man you recruit because it's really important what, what you put in your locker room. Because if you recruit the right people and you make your locker room better, the rest of the stuff's going to take care of itself. And uh, that's what Coach O'Leary and I are on the same exact page as far as that. And uh, I know that he, he runs an extremely disciplined uh, football program, and I think that's, that's how it should be. And uh, like I said, I'm just really excited to, to reunite with him and get back and, uh, and get going. And, and get to work. Is there an area that you've recruited, had success in through the years? I know you're from the Atlanta area. Has that yeah. sort of been your, your niche through the years? Uh, I've been all over the place. Uh, every, I've been all over the country. Uh, but yeah, but at the same token, I don't think I'm, you know, locked into one area. I just uh, I go, where the, go where I'm told to go. He's talked about the need for more sacks, strips, big plays. Can your style promote that sort of thing? Well, I, I certainly hope so. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's that's the goal, and to be able once again to force takeaways and to do things like that to to put the offense on a short field, and uh, it's that's that's a huge, huge critical factor in, in winning and losing games at every level and every conference, mm -hmm. everywhere in America. So uh, that'll certainly be a point of emphasis and something that uh, that we'll work hard at. You said, was ranked, you said it was ranked high, obviously, in a lot of categories yeah. last year, but Coach was saying now, you know, it didn't always translate to wins. What is what is the next X factor for this for this group as far as making sure that you can translate just, just raw numbers into make sure that those critical moments you can win football games? Well, the, the bottom line is winning football games, you know, whether you're whether you do it through offense, defense, or all, all phases. So I, I really I got to get in and, and study, mm -hmm. and uh, but I just – I just want our group to, to contribute to win, win the football games for our team because we all win as a team. Has Coach talked to you much about the personnel that's here? Do you, what, what do you know so far? Uh, he's excited about he's excited about the players here, and uh, I don't know a whole lot, you know, more than that right now. Like I said, I'm I'm getting ready to find out though. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that's so that's where that, that is. Yeah. Will, will you coach the Chick Fil A game? Or? No, I'm I'm oh, I'm. Okay. I'm, I'm Committed to Central Florida full time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What's the experience of a, of a national title mean for you, and, and what do you think you can bring here from that? Um, well, I, I think that anytime you're fortunate enough to to be in that situation, uh, it's definitely something that nobody can ever take away from you, and something that uh, that just it, I already knew it, but reiterated to me, there's just such a fine line between winning and losing, and the. the being able to treasure the details and take care of the details because because of the fine line and to be able to embrace those details and uh, and make it work for you and that's uh, that's what I took out of the, the whole national championship run the ability to block out a bunch of different distractions and the, the difference in winning and losing is, is in the details the small details were you familiar with UCF you know prior to coach O'Leary giving you a call is this your first time on campus or have you been here before no this is my first time here uh, when I was at, when, when we were at Georgia Tech, we played Central Florida, okay. and uh, it was a tooth and nail deal. And uh, they do they were doing some things on offense that they had never shown before. They were running the midline out of split backs. I remember that because I remember <laughs> scrambling around on the sideline. And then I think we scored a late touchdown. And uh, I think it was Godsey was our yes. quarterback then. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I remember getting out of there, and we were we were fortunate to win. But uh, you know, I know the, the location here and the the commitment uh, and the, the facilities, all the things that, that have happened here with the, with the talent base around, it's, uh, you know, and, and what he's been able to accomplish here, uh, it's, I think it's a special, special situation. Is the program you've just kind of followed, knowing coaches on the staff, yeah, of being friends I, with Coach O'Leary, yeah. knowing Coach Godsey? And yeah, I followed him, and because uh, once again, I have so much respect for him, and uh, just 
the things that he believes in as a football coach are right in line with, with, with where I am. And that's why it's, 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 I'm excited to, to get here and get going with him, you know. Um, but yeah, with Brent, because Brent Key was on the team at Georgia Tech, and mm -hmm. Godsey, and so there's, there's a lot of familiarity, and like I said, of how he runs things, and uh, like I said, I just have so much respect for him. Did you get a chance to, um, to talk to the players that got before you left and, and what was, what was their reaction? To well, here's, here's what happened. Um, there were finals this week, so our guys are scattered. So I grabbed as many as I could, texted as many as I could, called as many as I could. And uh, our guys understand. They, they understand the business side of it. And, uh, you know, it's because uh, it Auburn's a, a wonderful place as well. And we had a lot of, a lot of success. Like I said, we we're getting ready to play for our 30th win in three years. Uh, but at the same time, this opportunity came along, and it was just too good to, uh, to pass up for myself and my family. Well, thank you.